क्वेश्चन नंबर 25 पेपर 1 वी डिड डू जून 2012 फैक्टराइज x स्क्वायर प्लस x माइनस 12 सो फर्स्ट रीराइट द एक्सप्रेशन इट इज x स्क्वायर प्लस x माइनस 12 फर्स्ट वी टेक द एलसीएम ऑफ 12 सो दैट वी कैन फाइंड द फैक्टर 2 is 12 2 3 is 6 एंड 3 is 3 सो द फैक्टर ऑफ 12 बिकम वी कैन राइट 12 इज इक्वल टू 2 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 2 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 3 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 1 2 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 2 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 3 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 1 सो वी हैव टू मेक द मिड टर्म ब्रेक एंड इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज 4 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 3 सो 4 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 3 इज इक्वल टू 12 एंड 4 माइनस 3 इज इक्वल टू 1 सो वी मल्टीप्लाई इट बिकम 12 सो प्लस साइन हियर एंड द 4x माइनस 3x व्हेन वी ऐड द 4x Plus 4x minus 3x, it becomes plus x. Minus 12 is remain as it is. There are four terms, so we make the pair, and the common is taken as x, so remaining as x plus 4 here. Minus 3 is taken common from the these two terms, and the remaining is x plus 4. So when multiply minus plus minus 3 for the 12. Now there are two terms, one and two, so the common is. x plus 4 is taken as common and the left behind is x minus 4 in another bracket x minus 3 so these two are the factor of the expression given so the answer is x plus 4 bracket x minus 3 similar part 2 we have to factorize this as well so it is 25 x square minus 4y square we can write 5x to the square minus 2y to the square so we can apply the formula of a square minus b square it can be written as a plus b a minus b so that a square minus b square can be factorized by the formula so we can write we can consider it a and it can be considered as b so it is 5x square minus 2y square can be written as 5x plus 2y a plus b and 5x minus 2y. So the factor become 5x plus 2y and the 5x minus 2y. When the two term are in the form of multiplication, the two term are multiplying here. The multiplying as it, so they are factor of the expression given here. Now move to the part B. Write as a single fraction. The fraction is given as four upon three p plus one upon six p, and the two number are in fraction, and we have to add them. So we take LCM three p and the six p. Now six p multiply to the numerator of the first one. So four multiply by six p plus One multiplied by three p, so it becomes four six the twenty four p plus three p upon three six the eighteen and p square p multiplied by p square. Further, it can be written as twenty four plus three is twenty seven p upon eighteen p square. So we can cut p. Cut with the power two is cancelled with one one power, and nine three is a twenty seven and nine two is a eighteen. So it can be written as three upon two p. P is cancelled and only one power of p is remaining. So the single fraction is three upon two p. Quite easy question. Still there is any problem? You may write in comment. I will reply you.